Hey everybody, welcome back in. This is another TTM video. We like to get autographs TTM or through the mail. We've got a bunch in right now, so we just need to get right into it. We've got seven returns today. So how about that? A new record. Let's get right to it. First one is coming from Oakland, California. Might need a letter opener. Got it. And it is Mr. Eddie Brassoud. I think that's how you say his name, Eddie Brassoud. We just got a 58 tops of him in the other day. But this is a 63. Yeah, 63 tops, which is pretty beat up. I had it in my personal collection as a kid. I got that card. And I was looking through my old, old collection just the other day. Found this card. Decided to look him up to see if he signs or whatever. Took a chance and sent it out to him. 88 years old now. Former infielder. I only had one card, so I sent these stickers. He played for uh, 12 years from 56 to 67 for four teams. Red Sox, Cardinals, Giants. Um, was with the New York Giants way back when, before they moved to San Francisco, then moved with them to San Fran. Played with them for another couple years. And he finished his career in 67 as a world champion with the St. Louis Cardinals. He won the World Series and retired. Mr. Eddie Pursued. Look at that card again. Pretty sweet, beat up, but nicely worn, as they like to say. Uh, All-Star in 1964, after his playing career, became a minor league coach, minor league manager, and also a scout. So that's 15 days, no fee for Mr. Eddie Brassoud, Eddie Brassoud. Number two, coming from Daniels, New Jersey. And we know it's not Harry Carson, we don't think. I mean, he quit for a while until August. This is um, my note. Oh, Mr. Matt Snell, Super Bowl champ, Super Bowl three there on that card. With the Jets over the highly favored Colts. And he signed the back of that Super Bowl three card. Don't have many cards of Matt Snell, although I'm getting some. Matt Snell, number 41, over the entire width of that card, which is nice. Black Sharpie, not ashamed of his signature whatsoever, is he? He's 78 years old now, wow. Nine seasons, 64 to 72, all for these New York Jets. Uh, was in the AFL and then moved to the NFL with the Jets. And uh, you know what? In Ohio State, when he was in college, he played both ways. And in fact, when the the Ohio State University in 2000, they named their all-century team, he was first team all-century team as a defensive end. So he became a really good running back in the NFL. They moved him to running back, and he ran for almost 4,300 yards and 24 touchdowns was a three-time AFL All-Star, which, again, is their uh, version of the Pro Bowl, and uh, 24 touchdowns, Super Bowl three, had a great game and got a ring over the Colts Qu pretty quick. I forgot his uh, construction companies in New Jersey. Sent back the note, 10 days, no fee for Super Bowl champion Matt Snell. Number three, he's coming from Tampa, Florida. Tampa Bay. All right, let's see here. Come on now. Tony Dungy. Nice. He's 64 years old. He's a player, as you see here, for the uh, Steelers, defensive back. And there should be one in here for the Colts. These are little customs I had made. Signed them both. There he is as a Super Bowl champion, the first African-American head coach who won the Super Bowl. Won it in 2006 season and um, uh, when the Colts beat the Bears. So he played for three or four years, was a quarterback at the University of Minnesota, much like um, Matt Snell changed positions. He was a quarterback, and then the Steelers in their heyday moved him to safety. He won a Super Bowl there, Super Bowl thirteen as a player. Played for three or four years and uh, then became a – Assistant coach and uh, coordinator, and then a head coach eventually with the Buccaneers. 
So he was an assistant coach for about 15 years before becoming a head coach. Then was a head coach for 12 or 13, I think, for the Buccaneers and for the Colts. So he's been a lifer 31, 32 years in the game. And now, of course, he's a, a commentator for the NFL on NBC. So he's still very heavily involved in the game. Hall of Fame elected in 2016. Finished his career 139 and 69 for 66.8 winning percentage. Really tough. Took a while, 94 days, but there's no fee for Hall of Famer Tony Dungy. Let's jump right into the next one. It's coming from Tampa, St. Pete. Almost the same place, not the exact same location. This is coming from Tampa, St. Pete. Tony Dungy just came from Tampa. This is another. My index cards are in there. Unsigned. Cards are signed by Roberto Hernandez. Nice. See if he signed all of them. Get these cards out of the way. One and two and three. I figured he's a really good signer. 55-year-old former relief pitcher. He pitched for 17 years from 91 to 07. Several teams. I mean a lot of teams. But mostly for the White Sox, as you see in these two. And then Tampa Bay here in this picture. Um, I think he spent about seven of his 17 years with the White Sox. Uh, I think he pitched for almost 10 teams. Yeah. And uh, as you may know, I have a little fondness for pitchers who have pitched in 1,000 games in their career. And there's only 16 of them total in baseball history. And Roberto Hernandez is one of them. He pitched in 1,010 games. And uh, when he did it, he was only 11th in baseball history to do it. Now there have been five more since. But that's pretty pretty rare. I like collecting autographs of those guys in that group. Jesse Roscoe is the leader of that group, and he's tough to get signed, so I'm still looking for him. Really good career, 326 saves, including I think his best year was in 1997 for the uh, Devil Rays, now just the Rays. He had 43 saves, which is his own personal best. But the reason that was so good was that the Rays only won 69 games all season long. He saved 43 of them. So that's pretty amazing. But as I said, he's a great signer. I got that back really quick. Seven days, no fee, Roberto Hernandez. Next up, coming from Cincinnati, Ohio. Hey, no hard card. Bob Trumpy. Nice. He had taken the uh, coronavirus off. I sent these before the virus broke out. And I noticed he, there hasn't been a return for a long time, so he was one of the ones taking time off from signing. Again, I don't blame anybody for doing that. I'm just glad he's back. And I got this rookie card that I sent out. Remember, I bought two or three of those. So that's pretty cool. That's 70, 70 tops. Rookie card of Hall of Famer Bob Trumpy. 75 years old. Now he's a tight end. 10 years from 68 to 77, all for the Cincinnati Bengals. And uh, great player, great tight end, two-time AFL All-Star before they moved to the NFL, and then he became a two-time Pro Bowler. So basically a four-time Pro Bowler. 4,600 yards receiving and 35 touchdowns. But uh, he did not make the Hall of Fame as a player. He made it as a broadcaster, which he worked 16 or 17 years broadcasting the NFL on NBC. He was a partner for with Dick Enberg, another Hall of Famer, and was presented with the Lifetime Achievement Award, which is pro football's broadcasting wing. Uh, 34 days he took off for the coronavirus. No problem whatsoever. Thanks, Thankfully to get that back. 34 days, no fee. Hall of Famer Bob Trumpy. Next one's coming from Carroll Stream, Illinois. We think we know who it is. We see we see returns from Carroll Stream very often, and it's usually a Hall of Famer. Could it be? And it is. Mr. Ryan Sandberg. I suspected that card, that 91 upper deck, would look sweet with his blue signature. And it does. The blue from his helmet, the blue from his jersey. Nice contrast with that white uniform. Beautiful. All right, he's 60 years old. 
second baseman, 17 years. What more can you say about Ryan Sandberg? We all know him. Ten-time All-Star, nine-time Gold Glover, seven-time Silver Slugger, MVP in 1984. Fun fact, in 1984, he became the third player in history to hit 20 doubles, 20 triples, 20 home runs, and steal 20 bases in the same year. And he was the first Cub Hall of, uh, MVP since Ernie Banks won in 1959. Hall of Fame in 2005, really quick, he does charge a $5 fee. I wanted to get that out to him. I generally get him once a year, and I wanted to get that out to him because I heard he's going to up his fee to possibly $10 per card, which was still a pretty good deal for a Hall of Famer, but I wanted to send it to him while he was still charging five, eight days, $5 fee, Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg. Next is an 8x10. Do, 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 do. Let's do it. Let me get the easel. Haven't got the easel out for a long time. No postmark. We don't know where it's from. It's got Gregory Hines stamps on it, so whatever that means. Hey, Carol Burnett. Actress extraordinaire, comedian, films, television. Carol Burnett with a heart. Nice. How old is she? She's 89, so I think. Woo! Get that glare off her. Carol Burnett, sign it. Black Sharpie. Nice. 87 years old. And uh, she's been in Hollywood for, what, 70 years now? So, very famous comedian, actress. Uh, made it, Had her own show for a decade on CBS. Basically, uh, solidified the careers of Harvey Corman, Tim Conway, Vicki Lawrence. Um, everybody wanted to be on the Carol Burnett show. That was the kind of the her wink. It was like it was like uh, Johnny Carson inviting you over to the couch as a comedian. Anyway, twenty six days, no fee. Carol Burnett, get her now. She's eighty seven. But that's it. Tried to get through uh, seven as quickly as possible. Don't want to ramble all day long. Thanks for the returns. Pretty special day. Eddie Bursud, 15 days, no fee. Matt Snell, 10 days, no fee. Bob Trumpy, 34 days, no fee. Hopefully he's back now after the virus and he's signing again. Tony Dungy had to wait a little bit, 94 days. Roberto Hernandez is quick, 7 days, no fee. Ryan Sandberg, quick, 8 days, $5 fee. And Carol Burnett, 26 days, no fee. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a big thumbs up. Hit that like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? You get to see more videos like this. Hit the subscription rectangle and then that notification bell. You'll be notified of all my future videos. To all my subscribers who have been with me, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.